Will you listen to me for one minute here, Mr. Potter? Will, will you hang on just a minute now, Mr. Potter? You know, the people of this town, they're, they're, they're good people, fine people, people who work from the sweat of their brow. And you're sitting up there in your, in your fancy office, you know, sitting on your, your big pile of furlough money, you know. Well, well, this furlough's been going on for too long, Mr. Potter. You know, this, this, what do you call it, this lockdown? This, this Mrs. Jenkins, three, three doors down from me, I mean. Mrs. Jenkins has been furloughed for three weeks, Mr. Potter. She hasn't seen a dime of that furlough money. That has to come through. You know what I've been hearing? The people in this town are starting to eat their budgery guards, Mr. Potter. That's right, you heard me. Mrs. Jenkins hasn't even got a budgery guard. I mean, do you know what Mrs. Jenkins had for dinner last night, Mr. Potter? She ate her stick insect, Mr. Potter. That's right, she ate an arthropod. I mean, does that scream social justice to you, Mr. Potter? Mr. Potter? Which... God damn you to hell, Mr. Potter. Just see what's happening in there. Apartment block opposite. Yes, I know it's a different film. Cut me some slack, will you? Wow. Louis. Show my those curtains.